Hi everyone, it's Meryl here from Tula Yoga Experience. I'm just gonna walk over to my chair here. So today we're talking about downward facing dog. So if you have any issues with your hands, arthritis, carpal tunnel, maybe like me, you're recovering from fracturing your forearm, um, downward facing dog is obviously difficult to get into. Uh, if you have any kind of limitations like that. So using a chair is a great option. Um, downward facing dog is a powerful pose. It's a great pose. It stretches the entire back of the body. So from the shoulders all the way down the back body, down the back of the legs, into the ankles. Um, so it's, it's a really nice stretch. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it using the chair. So I have, um, have a decent folding chair that's secure and you want to make sure that it's on your sticky yoga mat so that it doesn't slide. You definitely don't want to ever do any poses with a chair on the floor. Definitely not. Alright, I stand here at the top. Um, stand with your feet, you know, right under the chair. That's that's Sammy over there. <laughs> um, the outer edges of your feet are parallel, standing nice and tall with the shoulders stacked over the ribs, stacked over the hips. And we'll take a nice deep inhale, reaching the arms up overhead, palms face each other. Lift and lengthen the sides of the body, create some space here. And exhale, hinge forward from the hips with a flat back, forward fold. Gently planting just my fingertips, stepping both of my feet back, pushing my hips back. Feet are flat down in this position. My legs are straight, um, but if you have low back issues, or if you're really tight, or uh, not warmed up enough, bend your knees and just soften them a little bit. Take a few breaths while you're here. Keep the belly lifted. <clears throat> While you're here, you can bend the right knee and then switch to the other side and bend the left knee and straighten the legs if you'd like. You can also drop the right arm down and just extend the left side, maybe just lean a couple of inches to the left and then switch arms. Right? Drop the left arm, just let it hang and be heavy. Just lean a tiny bit to the right. And come back to both hands here. Bend the knees and just walk it forward. Reach the arms out to the side and press into the feet. Lift and lengthen. Hands come to prayer. Good. And bring it to the center of the heart and release your arms down at your side. So that is downward facing dog in a nutshell. So I hope that you found this helpful. Please let me know and subscribe here. You can also find more informa information um, on my website at tulayogaexperience.com. Have a great day.